Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. This angle's bad, but I have to use my left hand. I can't lift my right arm up to the point of where I normally hold the camera. Welcome back to another vlog. This vlog's gonna mainly consist of the rehab situation, what we're in right now, treatment I'm going for, I going to the physio, what I do in my home gym, going to the oxygen chamber, all the things that I'm doing pretty much to try and uh, get myself back to the, well, yeah, sort of the situation I was in before all this happened. I also wanna have a little chat about the previous vlog, so if you haven't seen that, go check that out, where I, um, yeah, was, honest and in sort of the way that I'm feeling and what's happened to me and stuff like that so honestly the messages and stuff that I got after that vlog were some of them were hard to read if I'm honest yeah the, the support and stuff I've had has been absolutely amazing so firstly I want to say that thank you so much to everybody for that um I wasn't doing it obviously for for that reason you know what I mean but people are are genuine and kind and and want what's best for you so yeah i really appreciate i really appreciate um all the kind messages and the thing that touched me the most though was the messages i had of men like proper hard middle-aged men sending me really heartfelt messages about they realized that they should have went to see someone or they're gonna go see someone and, and that it's helped and honestly that was what the the driving force behind it all was yeah so hopefully if it's helped one person well i know it has from what i've been my arm's getting sore and i'm gonna have to set this on the wind so if it's helped one person then i'm i'm chuffed a bit because that's what i wanted i just it was hard it was hard even talking about it if i'm honest because in the sport that we're in or in any professional sport you know the one of the first things is is to show sort of strength and i don't know a uh, good mindset and stuff to be successful it's probably seen as weakness so that was the hardest sort of thing to come out with but honestly the hole that i was in <laughs> i couldn't do anything else i'm feeling a lot better i've obviously been to see some people and what oh, christy's done for me and stuff as well it's, it's been amazing the joy right now is fucking rehab and for anyone that hasn't been injured, you go in this like, so you get hurt and it's like, obviously it's really sore at the start. Well, obviously I was out for the count, so I don't know how sore the crash was, but you wake up in hospital and you're in a lot of pain, so you're like right at the peak. And then you obviously get a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better and you sort of get trying to get off the painkillers and then as you start to get better then the physio starts again so you ramp up this second hill trying to stay logical as to where i am on this second hill now of doing the physio and how i feel and the amount of pain and stuff we're definitely on the downward side of the, the second hill and that's what i'm trying to cling on to right now is to moving forward and staying positive and stuff like everything you have you have bad days because you just wake up some days or you haven't slept good and uh, once you're tired then your mindset shit as well as your your physical feeling so it's a bit of a snowball effect luckily it, <laughs> it was something that the last person I waved at when I, before the crash was Connor Cummins and the person that I was joking about with yesterday about saying that coffee's been this massive thing of like getting me up in the morning and like feeling better after a coffee and I, I'd forgot that he'd told me that's how he'd started his business because obviously with his massive crash at the TT and his, his struggles and stuff he just drank that much coffee that he ended up setting up a coffee business. Just silly little things like that that, that ring home to you you know and the downside of our sport is there's a lot of people that has suffered so there's enough people to talk to us like lads like even John McGuinness and stuff and he's been amazing messaging and just saying you know he's been through it as well and things like that so been tough but I'm gonna I actually trained this morning but the camera was flat so I'm gonna to record tomorrow morning session and just show you what exercises and everything I go through. It's nothing crazy, but it's all I can do right now. And today we're gonna to go to physio. Uh, I'm actually seeing two different physios at the minute, so we're gonna to go to one of them today. Let you see what happens, and then tomorrow then we'll go to the other one as well, and then try and get the oxygen chamber in as well. Oh, I think Neil and uh, Neil's turning up today because he's dropping my van off, so we'll uh, try and get him in. I have I've got my camera with me, is that okay? So just I'm like sort of explaining what's happening and so I, I've clearly haven't asked Andy that if I could bring my camera or not. So I'm obviously not gonna do any video on of the actual physio or anything, but I'm just letting people know yeah. what's oh, happening yeah. with the Yeah. So this is the man that I pay to torture me. <laughs> yeah, so we've been two weeks now. 
probably getting physio. Well, weeks, yeah. Yeah. So obviously, first of all, it was literally just trying to even get the pain away from like all down my back and my leg and everything. And now we're starting to do more mobility work. So obviously, that's mainly being on my shoulder and my leg. So I explained in the last vlog that obviously my shoulder was broke, my femurs rotted and stuff. That's what we're doing. And people, when you say physio to people, they always think, oh, that must be nice. <laughs> it's fucking not nice, I can assure you now. And the worst, the longer that you're sitting, like getting stiff, like my shoulder was and everything, then the mobility. So like right now, my shoulder is like to there or arm height, which is good for like the time frame that we've been on, which is only probably two weeks out of the cast, isn't it? For the, yeah. the sling. But yeah, that's what we're going to be working on today, mainly the shoulder. It's not enjoyable. Well. <laughs> it's for it, it's for it. <laughs> Done. I'm glad I didn't I'm glad I didn't video it. I've showed enough of my emotions lately to to be doing that. Thanks mate. See, See you in a couple of days. Our, oh, that camera angle's horrendous. Hour done. Yeah, spent the whole hour pretty much on my shoulder. Not gonna lie. That's fucking thing zoomed in. Sorry. Spent the whole hour on my shoulder. We've got like another 15, nearly 20 degrees of movement, which is massive. Took a load of tension out of the pec and stuff and around the back of the shoulder blade, which is like full of knots and, and damage. So yeah, the big thing at the minute is trying to get a little bit of strength back in and then obviously try and get that full range of movement. That's that's the most important part of riding a motorbike is to be able to have the range of movement in your in your shoulder before then getting the strength because you can't just you just can't get into the comfortable positions like a tuck position and I don't know if I've mentioned this before but my left shoulder's already not in a good way so I, I just it's not going to be possible unless the right one's pretty much perfect so that's what the whole that's what the whole uh, situation's I don't know what the right word is revolving around so yeah you get that done but we get back home now grab something to eat and I think uh, Neil should be here then. Hey Neil, do you know what people on the vlog have been saying? <laughs> that my accident softened you and you've actually been nice. <laughs> Are you upset about that or is that the real Neil? He's a big softie. Huh? They were saying nice things about you. What's up, what's up? Is, Neil, is Uncle Neil a big softie or is he not? Is he, what, does he give good cuddles? Why, because he's soft? No. Look at that picture. We don't want that touch. Uncle Neil asleep. Yeah. He's asleep. They, they reckon that you've softened. Van, Neil. He said, I'll drive. Hey, did you see about Grumpy That's getting noticed in France as well? Oh, where is that? I haven't seen it. He, was, he got noticed in France. They said, I know, I know it's not Neil, and uh, but your other mechanic and they've spotted him. I'll get Christy to put it in the in the vlog. Have you got anything to say to your fans, Neil? Because it's been a long time. He wasn't driving, no. Should we just give them a close up? <laughs> no dirt. There's no dirt on them. There's no. <laughs> there's no. Uh, there's no dirt on them hands. Right, right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. He's back. No, you're not. What's in your mind? Jesse Neal's out all the biscuits. Oh, what's up with the biscuits? <laughs> Christy! Are you watching me garden? So, bear with me. Come on, dog. It's now the next day. And because, like I said, I didn't record the bit of stuff I do in the gym yesterday, um, I'm going to do that now. And... Honestly, I had a shit night last night. I, I was up from like two o'clock. This is just a little gym I built at the house. I don't know if you can see properly or whatever. Last night, I had an absolutely shit night sleep. I was awake from around two o'clock, probably till about five. Hold on, Christy's got the leaf blower out. Christy! I'm trying to record. Oh, I'm just going to let me finish and then you can. You've blown more leaves over the dog than you have in. Blue. Blue, what's that? Blue. Blue. If anybody from RSPCA is watching, get her signed in. Yeah, so I had, an, I had a shocking night's sleep. Honestly, I probably wouldn't be doing this now. Only that I said to you guys that that's what was going to happen. So that's what's happening. So first things first, I do... Well, it started off at 10 minutes. My bike's just sitting on a, a smart trainer. I started off at 10 minutes. I just go on Zwift. I don't know if any of you know what Zwift is. I normally have my computer up to the TV screen and stuff, but for the little length of time that I ride for, that's not worth doing. So I just literally go on here, turn the sensor on. I go on to Zwift, find a, I just click on flat route, and then just like pedal for between 15 and 20 minutes, just to get some blood flow around the leg and my body. And now that my arm can actually hold on to the handlebars and stuff, it's good just for getting my, my shoulder a little bit of work in as well. So I'm gonna do this first, and then I'm gonna do some, some other little band works and stuff and let you see what's happening. 
So there's the timer up there, and 20 minutes I've managed to do six kilometers. <laughs> Anybody else asking why on earth I'm running flat pedals? It's because I'm struggling a bit with my knee and I can't turn my knee to clip in and out of the shoe. And honestly, I don't think that my foot will fit into my cycling shoes. But other than that, yeah, I'm just so chuffed to be fit to get on it and actually do it. You can see behind me now, I've got a load of like random stretch bands and everything and the one i actually use can't lift my arm that high to show you so that yellow one there is like the weakest version of a, a band i think you can possibly buy so yeah i'm just gonna start now do some shoulder exercises really simple well you'll see in a second just trying to get a bit of strength back up because literally behind my whole shoulder and everything's wasted away so that's why my arm won't lift i'll try and do some bits on that first then i'll get back down on the floor do some stretches and then try and see if we can open the arm out a little bit more and then you should see how far how far on we're actually at. Just to give you an idea, this is my good arm and I can like, it's so easy to move this, so this is the level of strength that I'm at right now. So I literally, I have to go sort of every direction, just with these little movements, trying to, <laughs> this is actually hard, trying to fire, fire up my shoulder. So just do a rotation, like do five or six each, each way. I'll show you on my left arm, which is weak also to show you the difference. So that's that's tight to do there. On my left arm, <laughs> it feels like a piece of paper. Right, I'm just gonna keep doing these on rotation. There's no point in you guys sitting watching this, so I'll cut that, and then once I start getting on to the next exercise, down to doing some stretching. hardest part is trying to get up and down off the bloody floor. Yeah, so literally now I'm just going to do some stretches. So I'm going to stretch my hamstrings and stuff, try and get some more movement in my knee. So when I first came out of hospital, my knee would literally not even go nearly 90 degrees and we're well past, we're well past 90 now. So just, I keep having to do it every morning because it just seems to lock up again. It's just some band work now, stretches on that, I lay on my back, lift my arm up and stuff and see if we can get a little bit more distance and things like that so yeah i'll just leave the camera running and christy can cut excuse me cut whatever bits in and out whatever she thinks so basically yeah i've got this band and it's got all these different hoops in it so you can see what distance you can get like when when i first started this i couldn't even touch my knees i don't know if anybody knows anything about being flexible but you should be fit to ease well not easily but touch your feet which i could do before but like now i'm like probably just halfway down my shin it's not enjoyable even though you're sat here doing nothing, like my knees hurting, my back's hurting, my fucking hamstrings are hurting. Ah, fuck, I sound like a broke record. The other funny thing you probably haven't noticed is that my cycling shorts are absolutely fucking hanging off me. They're supposed to be like tight, <laughs> tight fitted, but my legs are that skinny, especially my right one. Basically the easiest way I think to try and see how far you're getting is like I sit there with my other leg, the good leg, and so it's it's tight at that, or it's tight there, so I put that as a little marker, give it a little free off, <sighs> try and breathe through that, let it sit there for a minute or so, move the other foot back to match it. <coughs> Wait, no. Right, last. But by no means the funnest part. So I get this block, it's just like a really light foam thing, and then I use my good arm to try and lift my bad arm up. Oh, that still hurts my ribs. So that's like 90 degrees there, like straight up, like just straight out. And last week I couldn't get anywhere near that, so I'm going like, I don't know, 10, 20, 30. Like after the physio yesterday, I probably gained another at least 20 degrees. <sighs> You can probably hear my breath, but this is not fun. This is the most important part for trying to get back on the motorbike, I think, my shoulder. Well, this is going to be the bit that fucks me if it doesn't. Oh. So I couldn't do that last week either, like I couldn't lift it on its own. This is like the shittest workout video in the history of... In the history of fucking workout video. I didn't laugh, I'd cry. I'll try and do ten of these. A uh, little bit on the foam roller, and then that's what's done. Oh, my ribs. Oh, you only heard that, but there's a big crack. Oh, and another one. 
For you two, would like to have absolutely no muscles in your arms, do this workout video. <laughs> I can guarantee your results. Fucking hell, I feel fucked that I've literally been in here for less than half an hour. The rest of today is going to consist of, we've got the second physio, we're going to go see this evening, or this afternoon, yeah, this evening, about the leg. This afternoon is literally going to consist of me watching the Tour de France. <laughs> I'm back on the sofa, so yeah, exciting times is what it is. Now I'm just about to head to the second physio. Well, it's not really second. I've got two physios, one does mainly my leg and one does mainly my shoulder, so we're going to the leg one now. Not any massive reason, this, this guy has worked with football get football players and stuff for quite a long time and different things, so he's got a fair bit of experience on what way the leg works, so that's one of the reasons. The other thing is that the both of them are that busy, that trying to get in, I literally want to be in every day or every other day, uh, trying to get into the two of them that often is hard. It's handy that I've actually got um, two, so I don't know if this video's been a little bit repetitive or a little bit boring or whatever but that's the way my life is right now i literally get up do the same thing think about getting better trying to get better aim for the small gains but i don't know if you want to cut that out christy if it's a bit fucking depressing that's it see you later yeah have a good have a good uh, evening after physio <laughs> good kiss Heavy. hi say everybody <laughs> do you want to say hello to everyone have you missed them because we haven't been at bike land? Hello everybody, I've no. missed you. Do you want to give them a thumbs up? Blue. Huh? Blue. Show blue. Everybody's seen blue before. Right, see you later. Good boy. Bye. Alright, I've literally just pulled up and this is the other physio. I thought I'd take a video outside because it's like literally in the country in this beautiful little... Yeah, I don't know why but as I was just walking out of the car out of the house to get into the car, the fucking pain in the top of the front of my leg, which has never happened since since leaving hospital, so uh, I suppose it's a good time for it to start whenever I've just pulled up to the physio, but it's just, this shit happens all the time, you think, oh, I'm going good here, I'm going good, and the next minute you're just like, fuck. So yeah, first sort of setback on the leg, I don't know why it is, if it's a nerve pain or a muscle or what, but it's, it's sore. Let's go in. This look better than this guy. Not good. Excuse your radio too in the background, but right. So I said to you, like, he obviously did work on footballers. What I forgot to say was he actually was a footballer. And there's his, uh, before he went through, oh, there's one of his England schoolboy caps. How cool is that? Lucky to have this on the doorstep. Wait for the... I think there's somebody already in there, so we're just going to wait for them. I'm doing like a vlog of the week, how... Oh yeah, cool. Basically how shit my week is, so all I do is go to the... <laughs> this is the highlight. Go to the two physios in the oxygen chamber and whatever else. Yeah, I was just sitting there now, I've had no major pains in my leg or anything, but for some reason, like, there, at the front mm. of the leg, literally, I've, as I've just walked out of the house... This morning? There now, yeah. Yeah, it's that, it's that rod again, and I've not top end, going right through, that's why you're having that knee problem. It's th literally there. So, what you probably have to do again, if you get all the muscles loose around your yeah. leg again, and then we'll work on your back. Lay down and obviously just have a, have a stretch and a feel of everything yeah. around the hip. Do you want to go here? Yeah. Right, I'll turn this camera off before I get naked, nobody needs to see that. <laughs> daytime television. Is this for the three people that are just watching it later? Yeah. Is it? Well, they might be, if my mum was there, it might be four. <laughs> See that there? Not only does he abuse my body, he's abusing me mentally as well. <laughs> Fucking finished and he's still giving me shit. Still hammering him. <laughs> Talking about getting in the tuck position and he says he's going to give me duct tape. Good duct tape, useful for anything. <sighs> yeah. Just, just, just wrap it round and round my whole body. <laughs> Well, another hour of being violated. <laughs> Thanks very Bye much, mate. See you later on. Take care. Yeah. Fucking hell. I tell you what. Some days, you literally just feel like you've had enough. <laughs> Today is one of them days. Oh, one of them days.